Hi guys. Just out here today. Freezing a little bit. It's it's pretty cold out. It's like minus ten. Shouldn't be this close to the water, but oh yeah, in case you didn't realize, I live on an island. <laughs> Lots of water around me, but but yeah. No, I'm just out here. I'm I'm testing out my my new knife and seeing how seeing how I like the feel of it around my neck. This is the the sheath I made for it. I don't I don't know if you're interested in it or not, but I I, I done a little video on it. I'm gonna put it on here for you. It's sort of long. I don't know if you're interested in it or not, but if you are, check it out. I'm just in the process of cutting a bunch of little strands. I'm not sure how many I need. I'm just gonna keep cutting to it. I think I got enough. I'd say at least double that. Yeah, just cutting it out of this here rope. Got a bunch cut here. I don't know how many is there. I'm just gonna use what I need. Now I'm gonna use this here's jute twine. Shoot rope, whatever you want to call it. I don't know, I'm going to use probably I'm going to take out you know, five feet for now. Now I'm going to find the center of this shoot twine. like that. Place the first strand in. Probably gonna stay down I don't know, about an inch and a half or so. Take it and twist it over. Start going this way. I think it's gonna work better for me. But you have to stay consistent. You just twist it over once, nice and tight. Take your next piece, line it up, twist it over the exact same way as you did last time. Take your next piece. Same thing. Very simple, you just gotta keep being consistent to hold it the same way every time. Tighten it up. You just keep going like that until you get a piece that's... This here panel will be big enough that it'll wrap right around in a complete circle that'll fit around your knife. This is the, the knife I made, or a handle I should say. Just an old straight razor for a blade on it. I don't even know if that's focusing in there at all, but... I'm using that to make it, and I'm making it for this can be a hang from my neck. But yeah. Get this another little twist. And then after you get twisted, you're going to come back to the first one on the other side. And I'm going to continue to do the same thing. I'm just going to go right above it. Whenever I mean above, I mean this is the top. Go right around again, twist the sock same way, put in your second one. Twist, put in tight. Once I got around the second time, I reversed it and I started going back. And what I'm doing, well you can see this, but I'm just taking these little top ends and I'm bending them over and then I'm twisting them on like I did with the other pieces. So. It is a little trickier for sure. Just 
because the rope I'm using is kind of thick, right? So, anyways, I'll get her. Just nice to be able to keep it nice and tight. think you'd have to do this. Well I watch he did it. It's more for looks I think at the top. I think if you want it you could just tie knots off or something. It'd be uh, probably a lot simpler. The rope is getting short also. To start a fresh one. I'm just going to start it off the same way as when I started at the first. And for this end one, I'm just going to probably just tie it off. I'll do that right now. Just because it's getting a little too short to break wet. as possible without cutting my knot. Okay, I'm gonna need another strand of that. Same length. Do the same thing, find the center. I'm gonna go around. the one I just did and wrap around it. I'm gonna do my twist. Actually I'm gonna twist this way because that's the way it was. I'll start with this. Okay, I'll wrap around and do my twist. And then I'm gonna grab my next piece and continue on the way I was a while ago. it or not, but that's what the top's going to look like. We're nice going to slide down in the... I'm just going to tie this off and I'm going to start with some fresh cord. Yes. Hopefully it's going to be long enough. Okay, I'm going to cut off these ends. There's the... Okay, I'm going to repeat the steps. Okay, then this time I'm going to go down below. Right underneath where I started, and I'm going to go around. Start working my way around again. Okay, I ran out of another little section of string, so I'll cut another one, but I just want to show you. Oh, it's coming along. Yeah, this little 
project anyways. It's coming. Another section. Okay, that was a, another section of string put on. It's starting to look like something now. You can see fit in something like that. Taper down. She's old school looking over like that. I don't know how practical it'll be, but I don't know, something neat, something different, I guess. Spreading over the next strand, just twisting again. A little to a wrap, coming to your next piece, and twist. Okay, get down to the end now, I'm going to tie this. I'm just going to wrap this right around the end, tie it up tight. Just like that. Wrap up this side, same thing. fits. <laughs> Not some fancy, but thinking about taking these and maybe just cut every little end off and then fuzz it out. about here somewhere. So let's take the knife back out. Hands back. I'm just going to frame them up, sort of let the, the look of it a little better. Okay. Alright. Bye for now. Hey guys, just out here today trying to... Oh, that was a gunshot. <laughs>